hi everyone welcome to my channel i'm suluko ushu and on today's video we are shooting a day in my life as a hair and makeup artist so welcome to artistry by suluko ushu Let's welcome my very first client for the day and I already did her eyebrows off camera to save time. At this very moment I am applying the camouflage matte concealer on her eyelid. I'm putting some translucent loose powder to make it dry um, to prepare for, for eyeshadow. As you can see we decided to go for a maroonish or a brownish um, eyeshadow so we're going for brown and a bit of gold because um, her outfit is a bit of beige that's why we decided to go for those colors so yeah just follow my lead at this point i am cutting the crease well i'm not going to show you guys everything step by step on this video because i'm trying to make it as short as possible now i am applying the foundation on her face and neck it's very important to make sure they match now i am highlighting her face and i'm starting on the areas below her eyes and um, the bridge of her nose her forehead and her chin and all the other areas that needs to be highlighted i am using the beauty blender to blend the camouflage matte concealer i used to highlight her face I am beginning the process of installing her wig but as already mentioned i am not going to show everything step by step because i could not record everything uh, so please bear with me i'm just going to show you guys the bits and pieces that i managed to record if you would like for me to film a full process of um, installing a wig please shout in the comment section and i will gladly do so at this moment i am just drying the glue cutting the wig cap just preparing the head for the wig and this is how it turned out mm, our girl is slaying like she's on point honey it was her first time doing her makeup and we decided not to film her session but after seeing that she was pretty she agreed to take pictures so there you have it fellas hi again bunnies um i just finished my second um appointment remember my first and second appointment that we're doing week installation and makeup i'm done with both of them so i'm just waiting for my three o'clock appointment the two o'clock appointment cancelled i think she's having you know this and that we hope everything will go well i'm going to eat and wait for that three o'clock appointment and then yeah we'll we'll chat in a bit my third client arrived 30 minutes early which was good but then we experienced load shedding and I was running out of battery, so we decided to just film short clips of her makeup application process. But that did not stop her from looking all sorts. I mean, look at that. Look at that African butter. <laughs> for the day a very happy soul as you can see she's always happy she tried to keep a straight face here but uh didn't last that long <laughs> as you can see well i already did her eyebrows and her eyeshadows already off camera now i am fixing her foundation making sure that everything is in order and i realized that there's some access 
shadow in the areas under her eyes and I am trying to remove it and making sure that she looks okay as you can see I'm using a small brush for those areas those tiny areas I am highlighting the very same areas using the camouflage matte concealer I am baking her face with the translucent loose powder and from here I am trying to contour her face but because of all the light or all the sun that is pouring inside the room from the um, from the window it's getting difficult for you guys to see what I am trying to do but now I am contouring her cheekbones as you can see going up and down and at this moment I am trying to contour her nose as you can see but um, the slide really sabotaged us <laughs> it really did but we move <laughs> we really move from here I'm just removing the excess powder and then voila the moment you've all been waiting for Setswana Sara Majamara the course our very last client for the day and it's a male hmm how cool is that it's very cool I am moisturizing his skin I am applying a moisturizer followed by the baby skin primer you know for sensitive skin and all that and now I am just, you know, blending it into his skin. Oh, my other client was busy disturbing me because they were asking me, why is it that a man is doing their makeup? And I'm like, men do their makeup now these days. And now I'm applying them fixing spray and drying it because now we are running out of time and we have to move as quick as possible. I am applying the press powder the yardly press powder on his skin or all over his face and that's what i'm gonna be doing for this whole time until we are finished now that i am finished with the press powder i am trying to hide the spots we have um a bit of um dark spots so i'm using the concealer to i'm trying to conceal them let me say that and I'm trying to hide them with a concealer. Now I am blending the concealer and you know, just trying to make sure that he looks proper for his family. You know, this guy took, you know, he wants to look proper, and that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to make sure he looks proper. I am brushing his eyebrows but now because he's got thick eyebrows i'm using the styling gel to make sure that they stay in place don't forget the beard it also has to be in place right now i am just you know trying to finish off this whole look with the translucent loose powder let's make sure this guy looks nice and proper and it looks like the spot on the forehead was a bit, you know, was being difficult. So I had to use the full coverage foundation to hide it. And now I am just blending, um, blending out the foundation to make sure that it doesn't look otherwise. But it doesn't. So yeah, we move. From here, <laughs> I'm just going to apply some Vaseline on his lips you know to make sure that they're a bit shiny i wanted to apply lip gloss but then he was like no 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 we're not doing that let's go for vaseline <laughs> to finish off this look i'm just applying the setting spray to set the whole makeup bunnies um i just finished my last client for the day it is now quarter past five and i am supposed to be cleaning all this mess that i made but yeah i think i need to rest a bit it's been a very 
awesome day as you know expected we just had one cancellation but everything else went well i am happy with how the day went and i think my clients are also happy my clients have left now for their farewell ceremony thank you very much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you have a question or a suggestion or if you want to show us some love comment and tell us what you think about the video and if you have not subscribed to my channel up to so far what are you waiting for please do subscribe and um don't forget to turn on the notification bell after subscribing until next time bunnies see ya